Hello, Namaskar, Vanakka. My name is Sudhir Sahasanaman and you're watching CBSC with Sudhir. With this video, we are going to start the science portion, the explanation videos in English for class 8. This is the new textbook for Curios called Curiosity, uh, just like it is in class 6 and 7. And this is for class 8. So I do hope you've already got a copy of this particular NCRT textbook called Curiosity. Uh, a lot of new things to learn, so it's going to be very exciting. This particular chapter, which is the first chapter, is basically an introduction chapter that tells you what exactly are we in for as far as class 8 syllabus of science is concerned. It's called Exploring the Investigative World of Science. Okay, I believe that investigative is really the key word out here because unless you have an investigative bent of mind, you will find it very difficult to actually enjoy and explore the world of science. So what are we really looking for? In fact, there is an interesting question that is there in this particular chapter asking why is one side of a puri or a chapati thinner than the other? You would have already always found when you're eating, the top portion is generally a little soft. The bottom portion is a little more hard in comparison. Have you ever wondered why is it so? Thus, whoever is making the food at home, your mother, your father, or a cook, is that person having some special quality because of which this happens every time? So the reason is actually a lot of physics. The reason is because while rolling the puri dough, we often apply slightly more pressure on one side without realizing it. This makes that side thinner while the other side remains comparatively thicker. When that particular puri is fried in oil, whichever oil you use, the steam inside causes it to puff up. The thinner side expands more easily while the thicker side resists the puffing leading to an uneven shape or a bulge. You would have found this in a batura as well. Mm, yummy. Okay. That's one of the things, one of the questions asked. So I thought, let me give you the answer also here. So what are we really going to focus on in class 8? Look at this very fascinating illustration that I've got created. Albert Einstein on one side. Galileo on the other side. In fact, there is a very fascinating story about Galileo because he was among the first after Copernicus to agree with Copernicus that Earth was not at the center of the solar system. It was the sun, but the church did not allow. In fact, he was imprisoned and he had to suffer a lot because of supporting Copernicus only to be proved right many, many years later. In class 8, our focus will be on investigation. That's what is going to make science very fascinating. And I intend, I intend to make it extremely riveting and fascinating and interesting and exciting for each one of you because science gives us that, you know, to be able to enjoy. And please focus on the what, why and how questions because ask, how did this happen? Why did this happen? After you come to know what happened, right? Ask the questions, that's very important because in science, unless you ask questions, you are not going to learn anything. So at CPC with Sudhir, I'm going to provide you with the explanations and the answers. But more importantly, I want you to be more and more curious. In your classroom, whichever school you go to, bombard your class teacher, your science teacher with questions. That's very important. There is another reason why I'm saying this. I want each one of my students out here to take the science Olympiad along with the English and the maths Olympiad, maybe the cyber Olympiad also, but definitely English science and maths. These three Olympiads you should definitely take because that kind of allows you to compete at a state, national, international level. It kind of, you know, takes your standard a little high. And if you are planning to pursue medicine or engineering, or even in today's world, subjects like data analytics, etc artificial intelligence, all this will come in handy. Trust me, I mean, my daughter is 20, she'll be 22 this month. So I know exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about her journey from when she was in class eight to now when she's doing her MBA. So you, I'm telling this to you from experience that all these things matter. Parents listening to me, please ensure that your child takes the Olympiad, which is going to be in September, October and November. And 
if you are looking for the right kind of preparation material, which will tell you, okay, this is the format of questions that will be asked. The uh, book for science that I would advise you to buy is this one. This is the one for all Olympiads. It contains previous year's solved question papers also, and it will help you prepare for the 2025 examination in terms of, you know, what is the examination format, etc. This is the one for science. This is the one for mathematics. This is the one for English. And there is this another one for reasoning also. There is one for general knowledge and for cyber also, the computer applications. The link is in the description box if you want to buy it from either Amazon or you can go to Oswald Books where you can apply the Sudhir Tan, which is my author coupon code Sudhir10. You will get an extra discount. You can choose whichever is the better of the two options. But do, irrespective of whether you buy these books or not, that doesn't matter. Okay, this is only to help you and also to save some money with, for you because of using the coupon. But even if you don't buy, it doesn't matter. I want you to take the examination. Please go through that experience of taking an Olympiad exam. Very important for you because it will allow your mind to think differently. In science, that's very important. Now, what are the things that are going to be in this book? We are going to learn about plant organisms. In fact, right in the first chapter itself about small cells, the nucleus, the the amoeba, the protozoa, the virus, the bacteria, the fungus, the algae, all that, you know, things which we can see only with the help of a microscope or a magnifying glass. That's going to be very fascinating. Uh, I've already done the chapter in Hindi. I'll explain it again in English for students, my friends from South India, my friends from Eastern part of India, Northeast India, who would be more comfortable understanding it in English. You have seen how you would get a vaccine shot in order to protect you from different diseases. That's going to come up in chapter number three. That's dealing with health. These are all things which affect each one of us. You, your parents, your classmates, your friends, your relatives, me, everyone, right? Then what else are we talking about? The fascinating world of electricity. We have already learned a bit of it in sixth and seventh. Now we are going to get more in depth in seventh class. We had a full chapter on electricity. What really happens between the wires, like we have shown in this uh, illustration? What happens when someone at home irons the clothes? And you can see from the heat converter in the winter months, it is also providing heat. So electrical energy converting into heat energy, into light energy in order to work different appliances. So the world of electricity is going to be an integral part of your textbook out here the curiosity textbook let's look at the different chapter names so that it becomes easier for you to relate to it right so that's what electricity is the fourth chapter right health is the third chapter then we are talking about the fourth chapter that is chapter number five chapter number six etc is all about force like when you throw a ball the ball comes down that's because of gravity elementary isn't it but then when the force and the entire pressure works in a very, very strong manner, that leads to cyclones, that leads to tsunamis. As you can see, the destructive power of nature in the right-hand side illustration. All that we are going to study. We are going to understand why what happens. As I said, focus on what happens, why it happens, and how it happens. That's very important. I repeat it again and again because I find science fascinating for this reason. Be it biology, be it physics, be it chemistry. That's what really makes science such an interesting and riveting subject. Then what else are we going to talk about? We are going to talk about the world of light, the universe of light. You take a, a spoon which is shining bright, you know, cleaned very well. And you see your own reflection in that particular spoon like this boy is trying to do. And there you find, or maybe it's a girl because I see an earring. Anyway, so the, the, the image will be a little distorted. Why? Because the shape of the spoon is not flat. It is a little different. You know, it's either convex or concave, depending on which side of the spoon you are looking at. Why does that happen? So we are going to look at chapter number 10, where we are going to explore the world of mirrors and lenses. Fascinating. Then we are also going to talk about Chapter 11, keeping time with the skies, you know, talking about the moon, the eclipses, how they happen, why they happen, right? 
all that we are going to talk about chapter number 12 talks about nature working in harmony all that is going to come up in chapter number 11 and 12. so that's what it is all going to be about there are also talks about in chemistry about solute solvents and solutions about elements compounds and mixtures about particulate nature of matter, the chemistry portion is in the middle of the entire science syllabus. So enjoy science with me. That's what I want you to be with me on this journey to explore science together. I want you to share the videos, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you know immediately as soon as I uh, it, um, uh, post a new video. English, Maths, Hindi, Science and Social, social, social Science, all these five subjects will be covered here on CBSC Visudhir, in which English, science, and social science, I will try to do it in both Hindi and English separately. Okay, so that's going to be my endeavor. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm very excited. You let me know whether you are excited as well. And I do hope for your support so that we can make CBSC Visudhir the channel to go to for what? For quality learning, where all your doubts get solved, where teaching is done in such a manner that excites you, that interests you, and makes you even more curious to know more and more. Okay, so I'll see you in the first video, uh, the first explanation video, which will be on the invisible living world. Those of you who have who want to understand in Hindi, that video is already there. But for those who want to understand in English, just wait for a couple of days. That video will be posted right here. Tata, bye-bye. Thank you very much. Namaskar.